If you got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these vids, cause it's life hacks for kids. Whew. Hey there, hackers. It's the season of gifts and gift giving. And this year, I'm trying to break my reputation of being the worst present wrapper. Exhibit A. Mom's Christmas gift from last year. Exhibit B, my dad's Father's Day present from two years ago. Exhibit C, my brother's birthday gift. But no more, because this year I'm hacking my way to the best looking presents, and you can too. Time for my gorgeous gift wrap hacks. First, let's make a gift bag perfect for your big and bulky gifts. Let's make my seriously cool cereal box bag. For this, you'll need a cereal box, scissors, a pencil, a pen, washi tape, tape, wrapping paper, and old shoelaces. Fold over the flaps of your cereal box. Draw a line along the flaps. Continue that line around the box. Now cut along that line. Lay your cereal box on your wrapping paper. Trace around your box. Cut that out and repeat for the other side. Now do this with the thin sides of your box. Tape all four pieces of the wrapping paper to the sides of your box. Then use washi tape to tape the edges. Use your pencil to poke holes about an inch from the top. Thread your shoelaces through the hole. Then tie a knot. Then repeat on the other side of the box. And there you have it. A perfect bag for a perfect holiday gift. Next up is the perfect packaging for any thoughtful homemade gifts, like cookies or less thoughtful gifts, like leftover Halloween candy. Let's make my snowman holiday tin. For this you'll need scissors, orange post-its, googly eyes, white computer paper, tape, yellow ribbon, a glove, a cleaned out Pringles jar, extra fabric, black paint, a paintbrush, and two plastic bottle caps. Wrap your computer paper around your Pringle can. Tape this down. Cut a triangle out from the sticky side of your post-it. on your googly eyes. Use the back of your paintbrush to paint them out. Paint the bottle caps black and let them dry. Cut a long strip of your fabric, fold the ends down and wrap it around the snowman's neck. Glue on your bottle caps. Take your glove and pull it over its head. Cut a strip of ribbon. Grab the fingers of your glove, then tie your ribbon around the fingers. There you have it. A cool container for the coolest presents you can give to all your friends and family, including your sister. Now that your presents are perfectly wrapped, you need an incredible card to match. Let's make my Magic Matchstick greeting cards. For this, you'll need some scratch paper, scissors, a hole punch, an empty matchbox, a pen, some colored markers, and a glue stick. 
right, you deserve breakfast in bed every day on the outside of your matchbox. Draw a toaster and cut it out. Hole punch two circles. Hole punch two circles from your yellow paper. Cut out the egg whites from white paper. Cut out a white rectangle. Draw on your knife and fork. Now cut out your bacon from your red paper. Draw a line. Cut out a red square. Bend all four sides. Now glue it to the inside of your matchbox. Now glue the yolk to your egg whites. Glue your eggs and bacon to the plate. Now glue your toaster to the outside of the box. Using your Sharpies, decorate the box however you like. I made mine for my mom, but you can customize yours for anyone. The card might be tiny, but the thoughtfulness is huge. And there you have it, Holiday Hackers. Three ways to make your presents as pretty as the gifts inside them. Now, I shall no longer be known as the worst rapper. From now on, I shall be called Jillian the Great Gift Giver. Thanks for joining me, Subject. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more life hacks for kids. Bye! <laughs> Bye.